All right, let's have some fun and start modeling this character. So I'm going to go into the four different views right here, and I'm going to start with the front view. And if I tap the space bar, uh, one thing that I'm noticing here, if I look close, uh, this dark black line right here and here, um, that I'm going to have that kind of as my center point, and I can see that the character is not centered on that. So what I want to do, um, I'm going to have to unreference this, and I'm going to select this. I want to make sure not to move this up or down, because I know that it's a it is aligned, but I can move it sideways. Okay, so I'm just going to move it over until it looks like the um, character is perfectly aligned down the center. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, great. Now I'm going to reference that again, and now we should be set to start. So I'm going to go to Create Polygon Primitive Cube. Create Polygon Primitive Cube, and there it started at the center or the origin of the screen where those two uh, black lines kind of cross. And I'm going to bring this up. One thing I should mention, if yours didn't create, Make sure that you have interactive creation turned off, okay? Um, and then if you turn that off, then when you do this, it should appear at the center of the screen. Great. Now I'm going to be careful not to move the cube left and right like that. I want to keep it on this center line. And in fact, I'm going to just scale it up from uniformly from the center like that. And now I can see that um, I'm going to add some divisions on this. So with the cube selected, I'm going to go to Inputs, and I can see Subdivision Height, Width, and Depth. And if I click on this, um, I can see that I could create some height. Depth I can't see because that's from the side, but if I go to Width, notice I'm clicking on the label, and then I'm going to middle mouse drag and go like that. Now I'm going to purposely um, give it, I'm going to say, Yeah, I definitely want a center line like this. So I think I'm going to I'm going to give it four subdivisions. And you can see that that means three lines. It's actually dividing it one, two, three, four. That's what it means. Um, and that looks good. Okay, that's a good start. Now I'm going to right click, go to vertex, and I'm going to drag these bottom vertices down here. I'm going to drag the top vertices up here. And you can see that I'm starting to model the torso. Now, if I look at it from the side, okay, it's not going to be perfectly aligned yet, but that's okay. Maybe I could grab the front like this, move those back. Um, but I'm going to leave it until I kind of have some more information. So if I go back to the front, now if you already have a shelf, feel free to use the tools that you have. But if you don't have a shelf, I'm going to show you once again how to create that. So if I go here, I can go to New Shelf, and I'm going to call this Character. OK, great. And you can see that my shelf is currently empty. If I want to add a tool to the shelf, I can go like this. I go to Mesh Tools. And a couple that I will be using will be Insert Edge Loop. Okay, and I'll also be using Extrude. I can see that Extrude is in this menu. So if I wanted to add that to the shelf, I could hold down Control Shift and click on Extrude. I can see that it's now added. And if I go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, I'm also going to use that. So I'm going to hold down Control Shift, click on that, and now that's added to the shelf as well. So now I could instead of trying to hunt through these menus, I could simply click on the icon up here. So if I click on that, now I'm in my insert edge loop tool. And if I click on an edge, I can move it up and down. And what I'm looking for is kind of the most kind of discrepancy between my image and my shape. And I can see maybe right here is kind of the thinnest part. So maybe I put that in. And now right click, go to vertex, grab these vertices, and then scale in with a red handle like that. 
hey, there we go. That looks better, right? Um, notice that I'm keeping the center line down the center of the character. I definitely want to do that. And then it might look weird down here, but I think what I want to do is I want to move these in to be the inside of the leg, okay? Now, if I start to move one side and then move the other, it's not going to be perfectly symmetrical, so I want to be careful about that. To keep it perfectly symmetrical, I'm going to go up to the top here to this section and turn symmetry to object X. When I do that, you can see that when I click on one side, it does it automatically to the other side. So now when I move this, it's moving to the other side. And you can see that it looks weird when I move this. It looks like there's kind of it stayed back. Well, what we're, what's actually happening, don't forget that we have a three-dimensional shape that we're looking at. And when I move this, this front one's moving. However, this back one is not. And because we have this in x-ray mode, we can see that. So to avoid that problem, what I'm going to do is instead of just selecting one, I'm going to drag select over that vertex. And you can see what that's doing is it's selecting that one and the back one. So when I move it, they move together. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of go like that and then maybe grab these and pull this up like this. Okay. So you can see what I did. I created an area here and here that we're going to start the legs from. And I'm going to then take a look here. Now, with the very few things started, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of push this. So I'm going to drag over this, push that back drag over this, move this forward. And, you know, don't get too hung up on it looking perfect right now. I feel like um, it's looking obviously very, very boxy, uh, kind of weird right now. And that's okay. It's going to. And we're better off to have minimal kind of splits at this time than to have too many. All right. Um, looking good from the front. If I look at it from the side, after moving these in place, I'm going to go ahead and insert an edge loop here because that's kind of the biggest discrepancy. And now I can go to vertex and move this out and grab this and move that out as well. I might also think maybe I want that line here to kind of be at the armpit, more like that. There we go. And then make that a little bit wider. Excellent, excellent. Okay, good. Yeah, now I'm, I'm, I think we're starting to kind of fill out this form. Maybe I could put another edge loop right here and then scale that in just a little bit. And then here, um, you know, it's okay. I could maybe rotate this, kind of push this back like that. And... Um, Maybe on this one, I could maybe rotate this one as well. I'm just trying to keep it with the, you know, kind of the shape of the body there. Maybe this one rotate slightly. There we go. Kind of keeping that form. And maybe even this one, maybe go to select all these vertices and kind of rotate this slightly that way. Yeah, there we go. We're getting kind of that nice flow through the body there. Might look kind of weird from the front. Bring that in. All right. So that's a great start to the torso. In the next lesson, I'll show you how to kind of build off of that.